right, welcome to etching. <clears throat> so we are gonna etch on this glass today. We're gonna use something called Armor Etch. There are other types of etching creams available, but this is the one that I've always used. So I used um, a Cricut to make a stencil. And what you'll see is that I peeled off that center part and I put it on here. So I'm really using um, the negative space here as kind of a, a blocker. So I'm gonna be actually etching out here and then I'm gonna etch inside of this J. So I really squished it down, made sure there weren't any air bubbles. Same with this painter's tape. Okay. You'll see this is just a cream. Okay. And what you wanna do is just dab it on. And you want it to be pretty heavy. light spots here it might not be on as thick looks pretty good okay Okay, um, instructions do say that we're just gonna let it sit for about one to three minutes. So we're gonna do that. Um, once we're finished with that, I'm gonna scoop off a bunch of this excess and just put it back in the container because we can continue to use that. And then we will run it under water. All right, so we're just gonna put, check my watch to see what time it is and give us a couple minutes here. So my watch is showing that it's been about three minutes. So I am going to scrape, make sure my hands are clean. So we're just gonna try to scrape a bunch of this off and put it back because the etching cream is quite expensive. This little bottle um, I got from Hobby Lobby, it was $15.99. Sometimes you can get really good deals there, but this one was not on sale. And this goes a long way. You don't need very much. Let's see if I got a little color in my brush there. That's not good. Okay, that looks pretty good. I am going to take this over to the sink and rinse it and we'll be back. All right, so I washed it. It looks like some of the stuff's starting to come off already. So I can see if it's come through pretty good. I just wanna make sure all that etching cream came off and we'll see if it did what it was supposed to do. So far, it looks pretty good. And that's what it looks like. Hopefully you can kind of see that. Not too bad. I haven't done this in many, many years. So that looks pretty good. 
Um, my goal then is to do this on the other side just because I wanted to try the different um, positive and negative spaces, right? Got that. Okay, so that came out of here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some transfer tape on this and I'm gonna try it over on this side. So this part, the circle will actually be the part that gets etched on this glass. So I'm gonna grab some materials and I will be back. Okay, so transfer tape, I'm trying to peel this off carefully. Hopefully it'll just sit down level. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my, um, my letter, my design, directly on it. Try really hard to get it all secured down so there's no air bubbles. And we're just going to flip this over and do this on the other side. lines to help make it straight. surface. Sometimes that can be a little bit tricky. bubbles but if if this were a project where I was keeping the stencil on it that'd be an issue but I am not keeping that on here I just need this to make sure that that etching cream doesn't get underneath it that looks good hopefully it's on there centered it's really really difficult to tell um, I would say it's probably not the, the highest quality of glass and I think that's to our advantage Higher quality glass doesn't always etch very well. Some of it doesn't etch at all. Dollar store glass, as I've heard, is probably the best. I, I did that several years ago when I oops, first got married. I made glasses for all the bridesmaids and groomsmen and ushers and all of that. And I just um, etched their initials. Back then there's no such thing as a Cricut to help us make these cool designs so you could do other things like I used stickers to do it all right let's give this a try I've heard to dab is better than to um, paint it try that dabbing process. I 
again, we want it on pretty thick. There's lighter areas, it, ten it doesn't um, etch very well, or you might get um, different variations of, of, or different degrees of etching. So I'm just going to keep adding. Okay. We'll let that sit for three minutes. Checking the time, 12.34, so we will be back in just a few. All right, it's been just a little over three minutes, so we are gonna start to scrape off as much as we can and put it back in the bottle. careful that we don't get it on the exterior or it will etch it even if it's not on there very long. I'm betting we got under that a little bit. We'll find out. Okay, we'll be back. what I'm ending up with. Once I start washing it, this stuff starts to come up right away. So let's see what it does. at all. Like that. And then that was the other side here that we did earlier. So I made use of both parts of my sticker, both the positive space and the negative space. All right, and that's what etching is all about.